And just because you're a bigger person, that doesn't mean that you have less value or that you don't deserve to have cute clothes that make you feel good about yourself. Blue is not a boy's colour, pink is not a girl's colour. It's 2021, let's all just wear whatever makes us feel good about ourselves and I wanted to be able to enable people to do that. Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie for anyone who is new and I am so excited to share with you what I've been working on for the last few months and tell you about my brand new business. So grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea. I'm drinking some mate right now and <laughs> let's chat. That's right, I am starting a brand new business and that is an online clothing store. I've been working on this for so long and if you've been following along with my monthly vlogs or you follow my Instagram, then this will come as no surprise. You've probably been seeing me tease a lot of the content over there for quite a while now, but it is officially up. By the time you're seeing this video, the site will be live and the Instagram has been running for a few weeks now. So all links will be down in the description box, but I just wanted to make this video today to sit down and officially launch it on my YouTube and just talk to you a little bit about the brand, why I started it and what, what it means for me. Question number one, of course, has to be why. Why this? Why now? Just explain it. What is the business? Give us a bit more information. So a year and a half ago when Alejandro and I moved to Uruguay, there were a lot of adjustments to living here, but one thing we continued to notice was the difficulty finding clothes. I mean, for me, it's not so bad. I'm definitely a larger size here than I was back home, just due to the general, I guess the general population of Uruguay is a bit smaller. They're more on the petite side in the past, but nowadays things are changing with a lot more people migrating here and then and then also with you know changing diets people are growing larger they're growing taller it's a phenomenon all around the world and Uruguay has not really adapted to this yet and unlike in other countries simply ordering something online from the United States or from other countries that do have better size ranges it's it's not an easy option here, and even if you do find ways to do it easily, it's not a cheap option. So, particularly for Alejandro, who is a very tall, wide man, we could not find a single, like a single thing that fit him. If anything, we could find t-shirts that were wide enough, but they were just kind of big sacks. And when it came to pants or long sleeve shirts, Everything looked like it was three quarter length and I get it. He's a tall person wherever we go, but most countries do have a store you can go to that's specifically a big and tall store so that you can go and find things in your size. They just don't have that here. So immediately there was this big gap in the market. And while I wasn't originally planning on starting a business here, because we didn't know how long we were going to be in the country, then COVID hit and we were obviously... <laughs> I don't want to say stuck here, but it has kind of felt like that. We couldn't travel home. We couldn't leave the country. We couldn't do, there were a lot of things we couldn't do, but staying inside and sewing is something that I could do once I finally bought myself a machine. And that's what I decided to do. Instead of just complaining about the lack of clothing, I started learning how to make it myself. I am not, a prepared, well, I did not study this. I do not um, have formal training in you know, fashion design, but I did learn a lot growing up. I was self-taught. I made all my dance costumes growing up and also did a little bit of home economics in middle school and high school. So, you know, I know I, I learned the basics, but I wasn't, yeah, I didn't go to fashion school or anything. So after I started making my first few items, there were a lot of hiccups along the way, but eventually I started posting about it to TikTok and the video started doing really well. I started getting a lot of people interested, especially when I started talking about how it was kind of our only option for Alejandro. There was just nothing in his size, so I, I had to make it myself. 
and a lot of other people agreed because while Alejandro is a large guy, when we've been walking around the streets, particularly other younger people like our age, there are plenty of other tall people here. Like maybe not quite his height, but there are lots of tall people here, like over like six foot five ish. And there's literally no way that they could find clothes that fit them. We even asked a few people when we had one, one person who helped us move into this apartment, he would have been yeah, maybe six foot five. And he was like, yeah, I can find sport clothes. But when it comes to like, if you go to the basketball store, for example, when it came to anything else, just there was there was nothing. So yeah, I started making it myself, posting it to TikTok, and then people started asking if I was selling. And while I wasn't initially planning to, I thought, well, I mean, why not? I've always loved fashion. I've always loved design. I know how to sew. Let's do this. Let's get this going. It did take a while to get from that point to here. It's taken me a few months of work, but the website is up. It is launched and here we are. That is the little story. So I have also been filming the whole process, everything from making the first samples to pattern design, pattern grading, where I bought all the fabrics from, all of the little nicks and knacks that I needed, which again, being in a country that is foreign to me, I, I'm not fluent in Spanish either. I'm learning, I'm getting better every day, but it does make it more challenging when you're trying to launch something like this and you do not speak fluent, um, fluent Spanish or whatever your local language is. So through a lot of help with from people on my social media, which is why I have been posting so much about this whole process to my Instagram, because I genuinely just needed the help on knowing what things were called and where the best shops were for wholesale and all of that. So if you want to see more of the behind the scenes and the full process, that series should be launching very soon. I'm going to start editing it probably tonight or tomorrow. It should be probably a few episodes because I've got so much filmed, but yeah, that will replace my little monthly vlogs that I've been doing. So instead of a month in the life for August, there will be the, I started a business vlog. Okay, so for anyone who has been a long time subscriber or who knows me in person, shout out to anyone from Adelaide. If you're thinking, but Maddie, didn't you study nutrition for like five years? <gasps> the answer is yes. Yes, I did. And once I finally completed the degree and we moved away, I just didn't really have a desire to pursue that anymore. I still love nutrition and health and fitness, but I couldn't see myself working as a dietitian in a hospital or in a um, like in meal. Like there, was, there are so many places a dietitian could work, but I just couldn't picture myself actually doing any of that, at least not right now. At first I thought maybe it was just burnout. I was just too immersed in that for such a long time while at university that I just needed a break. And then moving here was a great excuse because I had a language barrier. So of course I couldn't apply for dietitian jobs locally because I wouldn't be able to have that deep understanding with the clients. Um, and I didn't have a residency, which means you can't get a job. Anyway, it was a whole big thing. So I launched a little mini business online but I think the fact that I wasn't super passionate about it and I just couldn't find myself, I just could I never found myself wanting to work on that. And that just comes down to passion and my passion for like meal plans and eBooks, just, it just wasn't there. So I do still have a few meal plans and eBooks that I created. I think they're great and I poured my heart and soul into them at the time, but I think I created them from a place of thinking I needed to, I needed to be pursuing nutrition and dietetics, it was the smart thing. I spent all this money to learn this stuff. Like it, it was a smart choice, you know, I didn't go to fashion school. I went to university and so I was just trying to play it through and they are still available on my personal website. If you want to go check out any of my nutrition content, I think it's great. So I, I highly recommend it. I just didn't want to spend my life creating more of that. Maybe in the future, I'll head back in that direction. But the one module from my entire five years at university that really stuck out to me was in my final year on one of my placements, I went to rural South Australia and I was creating a program for eating disorder prevention in high school students. I loved that. That was what I wanted to do. I wanted to make 
young people feel good about themselves and prevent them from developing disordered eating patterns. And that'll come down to body image and self-love and all of these bigger things and systemic problems about body shaming, fat shaming, like people who tell other people, oh, you'd look better if you lost weight or, you know, doctors even who assume that someone's health condition is purely based on their weight and not on any other factors. All of these things are just it cycles around and I spent like three months working on this project and that was the the best time of my whole university and that really does tie into what I'm doing today. While diet and fashion might not immediately seem like they correlate, they do. I mean, can you imagine if someone is already feeling self-conscious about the way their body looks and like due to societal pressures and then they go to the the shopping mall and they can't find a single thing that fits them right or that makes them feel good about themselves that's only going to make things worse and just because you're a bigger person that doesn't mean that you have less value or that you don't deserve to have cute clothes that make you feel good about yourself i mean that that really is not asking that much and you would be surprised at how little options there are not only just here, but even back in Australia, there's, I mean, it does get, it is getting better, but just media representation is crazy. Like here, I'm a size like large, which is not the end of the world. Like I don't care what the number on my pants says, but if I'm a size large and there are people significantly bigger than me, like what are they gonna wear? Like back home, I was maybe like an extra small on top and a small or medium on bottom. But here it's more like a medium on top and a large on bottom and that's just kind of crazy to me that if then the clothing range ends at an extra large or even a 2xl that cuts off so many people who just cannot purchase your clothing and it's it's a big systemic problem so in case you couldn't tell by now my big focus is inclusivity when it comes to sizing I think this is just a real big issue. It's also a huge gap in the market here that needs to be addressed and I wanna do it. I'm also creating more fun um, colors and styles because like I mentioned, if you, even if you could find larger sizes here or smaller, like people with just different body shapes than the standard, your options are so limited. So I wanted to kind of branch out and create some fun things with like bright colored fleece for winter time or fun satins and satin shirts, dresses, all sorts of things. And yeah, so size inclusivity was a main focus, but also touching on like gender neutrality because if a boy wants to wear a dress, let him. If a boy wants to wear pink, let him. Blue is not a boy's color, pink is not a girl's color. It's 2021, let's all just wear whatever makes us feel good about ourselves. And I wanted to be able to enable people to do that. Okay, I had to stop the battery and wait for the dogs outside to stop barking, but let's quickly talk about what I'm actually selling and what the current collection is. So I've started out with fleece, so it's felpa is the word here, a whole collection of basically matching sweat sets. So hoodies, cropped hoodies, even a little hoodie dress, some high-waisted pants, the jogging, what I call here, but I guess in English it's just like a jogger or it's like a high-waisted pair of pants and also just some regular like more unisex style um, track pants so that is the initial collection i know it i know we're heading into spring and summer here it's the start of september which means that spring is just around the corner for the southern hemisphere but since the track sets were what originally got me attention on tiktok i wanted to make sure that i still launched these as soon as possible while we still had like at least a few you know, a few weeks left of the cooler weather. Realistically, it doesn't heat up here until at least like late October, mid October. There'll be a few warm days scattered in there, but yeah, on the cooler days and especially at night, these will still be a big staple. And I do specialize in the more colorful designs. So I love the two tones or three tones with a different color in the hood. This is something I've worn so many times in so many of my videos, specifically the vlogs and in so many photos over on Instagram. So if you follow me over there, 
already seen this. Of course, I also have like the basic colors in black and some plain colors too. I will have a few pictures up on the screen, but also if you want to go check out what I currently have available that's, you know, ready for purchase right now, go check out the website. It'll have all the pricing info up there. I do also have the next two collections planned and I have most of the samples already made. So after the initial collection, I'm going to be releasing another lounge collection that is more like ribbed fabrics and cotton. So even like this top I have on now, which was super fun and easy to make and is very trendy right now. It's that kind of ribbed um, textured fabric. And I've also been making Alejandro a few cotton t-shirts and they're really fun and just great for summertime. So I'm going to do a, like a t-shirt dress and things like that. So yeah, that will be the next collection. And I'm also working on a satin collection, but of course that's a little bit more um, like special occasion. You can wear them just like casually, like lay it on top of like the satin dresses. I mean, you can layer them on top of like a little t-shirt or a long sleeve or something if you wanted it to be a bit more um, like dressed down, but Otherwise, they're great for different photos for Instagram as well. The only exciting thing I do in my life these days, but for my birthday, things like that, when I actually do go out and have a fun time, I'm gonna have some really cute, cute dresses and cute pieces to be wearing. So those are the first three collections. I'm trying to balance sharing enough to get people excited and not sharing too much that I give it all away. So be following me over on, again, on the Instagram page, which is Midnight Margaritas. I don't know if I've said that, the actual name of it before. MidnightMargaritas.ui is the Instagram page. That's where I'll be sharing the most. And over on my TikTok, which is Maddie in MBD, all my social media handles are completely different. I wish they were all the same, but currently we're not, we're not at that point in life. So yeah, go check out those accounts if you want to see more teasers of upcoming projects. So other than the Instagram, which has been up for about three or four weeks now, I am really obsessed with the feed. It's looking great right now, if I do say so myself. Um, so go check out there for again, more updates and just to follow along with what's going on. That is the best place to support the business if you don't have the money to spend on any of these pieces because the prices are, I don't want to say high, but they're, it's not as dirt cheap as I wanted it to be. I'm pricing them as cheap as I can to still be making a profit, but in order to make it inclusive and offer those larger sizes, the prices are up a little higher because of course it costs a lot more to make a size 3XL than it does to make a size small medium. So more fabric means higher prices and I don't want to charge more for bigger sizes than I do for smaller sizes because that just seems really unethical to me. So I'd rather charge you know, just raise the prices overall and just make a higher profit margin on these smaller sizes. I hope that didn't just confuse anyone, but yeah, so that is, <laughs> that is the main gist of my pricing. But if you can't afford to buy anything, but you still want to support, the best way is to go over to my Instagram and follow along there, like all the posts. They are all in Spanish because again, this is originally designed to fill the need locally here in Uruguay and also with the interest from Argentina but we do offer shipping on the website to other countries. It is not officially worldwide shipping at this point, but if you go onto the website, you want to click um, to change the language from Spanish to English if you don't speak Spanish, and then you will be able to see what, what um, countries we do currently ship to. It's again, I'm mainly focused on local countries, so all the Americas, including the USA, um, Mexico and Canada. So if your if your country is not listed, then just comment under this video or send me a message over on the website through the contact form, and I will try to look into the um, like shipping regulations for your country. It's easy enough to send to Australia, but the costs are higher, so I am allowing shipping to Australia for my friends and family if they want to purchase anything or just any of my followers from Australia. But just keep in mind that shipping to Argentina. It's going to cost a lot less than shipping to Australia because, you know, it's got to go a lot further. <laughs> so yeah, that is everything I wanted to talk about today. I think if you have any other questions, then comment down below. I would love it if you could go check out the website. Let me know your thoughts. Comment under this video what you think, what you're excited to see. If you plan on buying anything, I would be so incredibly excited. Um, 
Also, if you check out the website and sign up for the email list, you will get a little discount code that you can use on your first purchase. So that's just a little thank you for your support. And yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to start shipping things out. We are currently a made to order business. So someone will place an order, especially since we offer the custom sizing. I don't even know if I talked about that, but even though I range from a size extra small to a 4XL, if you, you know, don't fit in those size ranges or you have long arms, short arms, short legs, you know, whatever it is, if you want to have it specifically made to your measure, we will also offer that service. So it will be exactly custom to your size. And that means that it just makes more sense if I wait for the order to come in and then I make the item to the order and then send it out. So that does mean there'll be a little bit of a longer turnaround. I'm not going to be able to ship out the day after you place your order or anything unless i'm really on the ball and currently i'm still waiting for little shipping tags to arrive and the little sewing tags i ordered them online they haven't arrived yet so there'll be about a one to two week delay for anyone who purchases like today on making the items and having them shipped out but as the business progresses that wait time will be a lot shorter once i've got all my materials and i've got a bit of profit then i can buy you know buy in bulk more of the fabrics so yeah, that is a little bit more about my business. Oh, we also offer pet clothes. I didn't even mention this, but that is just a way that I am trying to make the business more eco-friendly is by using the scraps to make pet clothes. I've been stitching them together like long, like little strips of fabric that are just off cuts that normally would end up just in the bin. I've been using them to stitch together and make little pet hoodies, which are so cute, adorable. Even Pippin likes his, that's my cat. Um, yeah, even if you don't want to buy something for yourself but you have a pet then go check out the website you can get yourself a really cute little pet hoodie and make it customized so thank you for watching comment any questions you have and i will be down in the comments answering them i'm also going to attempt to film a version of this video in espanol but that will be a lot more challenging for me so wish me luck I'm so excited. Thanks for watching. Love you all so much. Thank you again for all the support. I don't even know how to end this video. I'm just rambling at this point. So, <laughs> besos, beso grande. Ciao. <laughs>